My name is Bola Akinlade. I'm Vice President of Clinical Sciences at Regeneron Pharmaceuticals. On behalf of my co-authors, I would like to share the findings of our analysis of the occurrence of conjunctivitis in clinical trials of dopilumab. We performed this analysis to better understand the occurrence of conjunctivitis in dupilumab clinical trials in atopic dermatitis patients, asthma patients, chronic rhinosinusitis sinusitis with nasal polyps, as well as eosinophilic oesophagitis clinical trials. In most of the atopic dermatitis trials, the incidence of conjunctivitis was higher in dupilumab treated patients than in placebo group patients. Most cases of conjunctivitis that occurred were mild to moderate, and most patients had the conjunctivitis recovered or recovering by the end of the treatment period. There were very few instances of severe conjunctivitis in the clinical trials. Important insights that we got from these analyses were that we were able to show that patients who had higher baseline disease activity with atopic dermatitis tended to be the ones that developed conjunctivitis during the clinical trials. Also, patients who had a history of conjunctivitis prior to coming to the trials were more likely to develop conjunctivitis compared to patients who did not have a history of conjunctivitis coming to the trials. And lastly, we were also able to show that patients who had higher levels of certain biomarkers, TARC, IgE, as well as blood eosinophils at baseline, were more likely to have conjunctivitis as an adverse event in the trials of atopic dermatitis compared to patients who had lower levels of these biomarkers. Conjunctivitis as an associated adverse event with dupilumab treatment was seen only with the atopic dermatitis trials. We did not see conjunctivitis as an associated adverse event in the asthma trials. The chronic rhinosinusitis with the nasal polyp trials, as well as the eosinophilic oesophagitis trial. Well, the next step is to um, conduct further research into the causes of conjunctivitis that's seen in atopic dermatitis patients that are treated with dupilumab. We also need to understand what the best treatment modalities will be for the management of conjunctivitis in these patients. Thank you.